Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. We're ready. Hello there. I'm Ed Klein, and uh, my son would tell me I hadn't told you who I was, but I was getting ready to tell you who I am. I'm a I'm an evangelist. I've been an evangelist for 35, going on 36 years. I've traveled all over the world, uh, just too many countries to talk about, <clears throat> and enjoyed every moment of it. I was uh, one of 11 children, but there's just a few of us left now. And um, I, was, I was taught about God and about the Lord all my life. And I think what happens to us is we all, I did anyway, and our family did, we get into this rut. Our teaching is based on what our parents knew or even thought they knew that was given to them by someone else. Well, I don't mind telling you the majority of what I was taught was not right. The majority of what I was taught was man's idea of what the Christian walk is really all about. So I didn't know truth. Now, I knew who, who Jesus was. I knew that he died on the cross. I knew a lot of things about him, but I had never met him. I didn't have an intimate relationship with him. And so, and I don't know anybody else in our family that did. Now, as time went on and as I got into ministry, uh, they all did, including my parents. But my point is this, that my life was based on what I learned from my older brothers and sisters, what I learned from my mom and dad, from my, our friends and relatives and people we hung out with in our denominational re re relationship. And many times, that's not who really who God really is. Oh, I know there can be bits and pieces of truth in that, and there was, but when it came to the full truth of the gospel, when I say the full truth, really understanding why the, the whole situation was the way it was with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I did not have any understanding of that in any way, shape, or form. So what I, what I want to do, and what I've been doing for all these years, is to reveal that truth. I said, wait a minute here, did Jesus come to give us religion or did he come to give us life? I believe he says in John 10:10, 10, 10, I came that you might have life and have it in abundance. The enemy came to do what? To rob, to kill, and to steal. And he's done an awesome job, the enemy has, I mean. So has God, but the enemy has stolen so much truth and life from people thinking somehow They've got to earn it. Somehow, they've got to be good enough, which is virtual impossibility for them. And it doesn't mean you can't be good. It doesn't mean you can't walk like you're supposed to walk because he's willing to let that happen through you if you're willing to let him work that through you. But you see, only God can work it. You can't work it. I can't work it. And so, what I'd like to do is begin to do a series for you that will teach you about the kingdom of God and the truth of that kingdom. And then... I want you to follow me in the Word of God. And I don't, I don't care what church you go to or which one of the Bibles you're using in a Christian relation. I don't, they're all the same. I'll read out of the Bible. I'll, sometimes I'll use an Amplified and others. So I want to be able to teach you all those things. And I'm believing that as you listen day by day and, and ponder and meditate on, that you're going to see the truth for what it really is. So I just want to bless you. I want to know that this year, 2010, is going to be the greatest year of your life and my life because we have an opportunity to share the truth of the Word of God on a regular basis as you continue to come to the website or even come to one of the Bible studies that we have in your area or one of the uh, meetings that I teach at within the churches and stuff. I'm not out here all by myself. I work in churches. I work with other pastors who are also waking up to the fact that we need to get on with the truth of the scripture. We need to get on with the truth of the word of God. So hope to see you here tomorrow. God bless you. I just want you to know Jesus loves you with a perfect love. He's not mad at you. Not holding anything against you. He already paid the price. In Jesus name you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember we serve a good God.